It is 645. Welcome back to Good Morning Indiana. Raphael, a woman with big plans reached out to WRTV after paying thousands to get funding for a faith based project. And Lauren, I've been talking to Kim Kidd now for several months. We first met before the pandemic. So a portion of the story is done without wearing any face coverings. But this morning, Kim will unmask why a home for women in need is still on hold. This is your lodge room. You have a guest room. Kim Kidd has a dream, which she put on paper. This again is your second floor. A woman of faith who feels called to build a home for women in need. It would help them get back on their feet. Um, they would have housing. They would have training. I don't care if they from the White House or they from the prostitute's house. I have a heart for people. And my desire is to see all people succeed in life. Kim is not a rich person. So a former friend connected her with MT Management. It offers what's known as a private placement program, which is an option for some to a traditional bank loan. Mike Troyan is MT Management. We're basically a matchmaker where we match the client with investors and then they negotiate and work out uh, the different types of arrangements in order to get them financed. Troyan says his office has helped many people over the years receive millions of dollars in funding. So this is not a Ponzi not scheme at all. or it a is, pyramid. It is scheme. a very viable program. And a number of, your, of the clients that come to us have already been, uh, in their words, thrown out of their banks. But a lot of these people are legitimate business owners. They're legitimate. They just can't meet the strict guidelines of the bank financing. To get the ball rolling, Kim paid $6,000 to empty management in April and May of 2019. The goal to get a million dollar investment to support her women's home. Troyan says that Kim's application was rejected because she's not operating as a LLC. Kit says Troyan was aware that her project is a not-for-profit. Both sides are at odds on that issue. So you're saying that the money is not lost? No, if she will just work with us, we are ready to work with her. The train right. never left you're the station. Right. <laughs> it never left the station. But you paid $6,000. $6,000, yes. What did you get for $6,000? Some paper, a bunch of paper. So Kim is now hoping that MT Management will refund the $6,000 to her charity. By that way, the, that home was scheduled to be placed in Fishers. The company, though, says those dollars are non-refundable but can be recouped at the closing of their program. We'll keep working on the story and bring you any developments in the days or weeks to come. But keep these things in mind when you're working on a financial deal, when it comes to any kind of financial investments. Always look at all of your options. Remember that the de devil is in the details. Get a lawyer to review your paperwork, especially if you don't understand legalese, and never, ever pay upfront fees. Keep those things in mind. This morning, we are keeping in mind 